hi guys uh, welcome back to my channel don't forget to subscribe and check out the other videos today I want to look at the cut fill map in Trimble Business Center uh, why would you want a cut fill map is uh, first of all uh, once you have a project cut fill map can determine how you're gonna move the dirt which is very good for the operators and project managers for the same kind of goes for the takeoffs and it just gives you a good idea where the access or where the import is going so you can plan your work what i have done i have opened a blank template and imported two um, surfaces one is the original ground and one is the finished design so they're gonna build a little building here with something i don't know uh, it doesn't matter basically i just want to do demonstrate the cut fill under the takeoff menu on the very right hand side you have a cut fill map once you click it uh, it's asking you for the name of the cut fill map so you can have multiple cut fill maps between multiple surfaces usually uh, for the takeoff purposes you're doing the cut fill map of the OG stripped and subgrade demolished to the finished design with subgrade demolished uh, that's basically where you're getting it after that all the extras are like the concretes and gravels and whatever but for the dirt so I'm gonna call this cut fill just CF uh, initial surface is gonna be our original ground uh, the final surface is gonna be our uh, finished design now you have two options you can all you can do a shade map uh, or a label grid just a grid or you can do both for this purpose let's do both I already have a layer for cut fill and I already have a font which I have already preset for uh, to some default values where I can uh, just run a cut fill map at seven meters and it's asking me for the grid style whether i want non ticks or lines i'll just keep on ticks and that's more precision you can preset it here or you can just leave it default by a project i leave it default by a project because uh, i already have that preset in template and then you can label the surface elevation so i'll check everything and let's run the cut fill map it's going to do some computations uh, depending on the process or graphics card and uh, all the other things this might take a while or it's just going to be a quick quick one so as you can see our cut fill map has been just uh, uh, com calculated and let's take a quick peek i'm just going to turn off the, the the surfaces for now so we can just look at the pure cut fill map so since we labeled the uh, surfaces we have um, on the top we do have uh, actual elevation so from original ground and at the bottom we have the design elevation and it's telling us that it's a 1.826 meters of fill so uh, from this uh, if the site is so big you can't really tell nothing so you're gonna turn off that and turn on the shade map which will give you a pretty good idea uh, blue is fill uh, red is cut so obviously this side is in fill um, the other thing what you can do is once you click on the cut fill map and hit properties you have the option of changing this uh, color scheme so you have actual elevation so automatically you can do evenly spaced uh, hit ok uh, because uh, our um, cut fill map is uh, you know big cuts and build fill so you don't see much transition uh, let's see if we can uh, check this out i don't know if i have any um, cut fill maps uh, i don't have any preset but you can change the colors by uh, instead of you know like this one instead of having a, a blue one here and blue one here we can do um, oops sorry we can do a different color here let's say cayenne and 
we can do a color here brown no no brown is not really but let's say magenta so now when we hit ok and and we turn it back on i just have to unselect it uh, as you can see now you can tell visually who, roughly what the cut fills are i i mean if you once preset it so you know between plus or minus 30 mils so plus or minus an inch uh, it's white then uh, from an inch to almost five inches it's cayenne so you can you know you can preset that and have that uh, visual right away you can tell okay so here i just have an inch of fill here i have you know five six inches of fill and so on and so on you can do evenly spaced based on what you what your requirements are next thing you want to do is you want to put the cut fill legend so title you know uh, depth of shading uh, which layer I already have layer for legend which surface obviously cut fill uh, point and the textiles let's just put it in here and it's just gonna give you the descriptions of uh, cut the, the legend so now you know that between plus or minus 30 inch is basically white then it's uh, from one inch to five inches is uh, cayenne or purple and anything between five inches to a couple of meters is red so this is our big cut i think maybe that's a pond retention pond or something like that you can uh, put in the cut fill numbers uh, you know because it's so dense uh, you might want to change that from like I think I had seven meters uh, you scroll down yeah seven meters you can do to like maybe 14 so just kind of uh, space it out a little bit so it's not that bad enlarge the font and print it out and it will give a great idea to the field or to the project manager or yourself if you are doing the dirt moving so hope you enjoyed it uh, you don't forget to comment like uh, check out our website uh, links are below in the comments uh, if you require any training or data prep just let us know and we'll see you in the next video